All right, guys, today we're going to play around with some Photoshop smart objects. I'm sure if you're on the internet enough, um, checking out Graphic River or maybe even Dribble, you'll see everybody displaying their logos or their concepts on the actual products, be it like this note card, letterhead, maybe even an envelope or a business card. Well, today we're going to learn how to do that. It's pretty simple, really easy. This is going to be your final result. It's all using Photoshop smart objects. So let's get started. You're going to need to either take a picture or find one on the internet. This one right here you can download for free at Stock Exchange as long as you sign up. Um, I'll put the link in the blog post. Here it is. Just get it downloaded get it opened up in Photoshop. And now we can get started. First thing we're going to do is make a new layer. We'll just call it Smart Object. Okay. Now we're going to get the Rectangular Marquee Tool. Just draw us a nice square similar in size to the little card we got here. We're going to fill it with black. Deselect that. Now what we need to do is head over and convert this layer to a smart object. There's a couple ways you can do that. The easiest way is just to right click on it. Say convert to smart object. And now so we can see the note card behind it, let's just make the opacity 50%. First thing we're going to do is distort it a little bit to match the shape of the card. Go to Edit, Transform, Distort. Pretty simple, just grab these little control handles in the corner, put them right on the edges of the card. You don't have to be exactly precise here. Um, if you plan on putting your logo out to the very edge of the card, it helps to be a little precise, um, but otherwise, not that big of a deal. Next thing we need to do is to get the bend in the card, so we're going to warp it. Let's go right back, edit and transform. Go to warp. First we're going to select arch. Let's grab this middle control handle for the arch and bring it down to match the bend in the card. You'll notice we still got a little bit of area at the bottom. So we'll select arch, go back up to the top and hit custom. And grab these little control arms here, just bring them down, try to stay in line with the perspective lines you already have. Bring them down to match the bottom of the card and just hit enter to accept those changes. Now what we'll do is go back and turn our opacity all the way back up so we can see our square. Now we have this smart object that's been bent. The great thing about smart objects is Photoshop will remember the transformations you made and apply those to whatever you do with your smart object. So let's save this out. And the easiest way to get to your smart object to edit it is to come over here and just double click on this little smart object icon. As you'll notice, you'll get this message. You can cut it off, but whatever. It's just telling you you need to save the file once you get done editing it. Hit OK, and this is that square. And this is what you see here just in its flat version with none of the transformations applied to it. So the first thing we're going to do is go load up a logo whatever you want it to be. This is what we're going to use on this one. Um, it's just a simple logo. It's transparent, but it could be white and black or whatever color you might want it to be, and I'll show you how to adjust that in a minute. So we'll just copy it, come back to our smart object. We're going to hide this, and we're going to paste it. And I'm going to transform it, just get it however you like it. Um, Seems to be the smaller the better on these. We'll get it centered up. And then all you have to do is hit save. Once you hit save is where the magic happens. You can easily close this or you can just switch back over to your original file as long as you save it. And you'll see that it's already taken the shape and the warp of the card. Next thing you need to do is just turn this over to multiply. And as long as it's not black, which it is now, but I'll show you how to change that. This will give you the ridges in the card and make it actually look like it's printed on there and not just kind of sitting on top of a new layer. So let's switch back over here. The great thing about smart objects is you can make all sorts of adjustments to the actual smart object and then they'll be reflected over in your original Photoshop file. So just for an example, let's do a little color overlay. We're going to pick a nice light pink to kind of match the color scheme. of the Photoshop file. 
hit OK, hit Save, switch back over. Now you can see the changes that were made. You can see the nice ridges, kind of gives it that printed look. And the great thing about smart objects is you can work on them here, make more adjustments if you need to, or you can just close this back out and you can make adjustments here. I'm going to save it really quick. For example, if you like this, but you're thinking the card's going to be a little old, maybe be a distressed print, cool thing you can do is just create you a little layer mask. I've got this little distress file here, so I'm just going to copy this. Switch over here to my layer mask. Paste it in. Move it around where I want it. Deselect that. Switch back over. Now you've got a distress print on top of it. Still shows the ridges. Still looks like it's printed on there, but it kind of gives it that distress. You can do all sorts of different things with that. That's just kind of showing you how flexible these smart objects are once you get them in the Illustrator. I mean in the Photoshop, excuse me. Um, but that's it. You can uh, save this file out if you need to reuse it at any time. Just duplicate the file, come in, double click your smart object, drop a new logo in here, save it, come back, it'll pop in. You can use this to show clients or do all sorts of different things with. Thanks for checking out the video and be sure to stay tuned to the designplaybook.com for more tutorials to come. Thanks.